This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course and Course D. It is Lesson 14 in the Express course and Lesson 11 in Course D. Wall loops with farmers. Puzzle 11. Flatten all of these piles using a few block, as few blocks as possible. Okay, so we only have one block in the workspace, but we don't want to use more than six and flatten them. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to need to remove them. I'm going to start out with normal code, move or normal blocks, and just drag out without loops right now. Let's make sure that gets rid of it. Oh, whoops, we need to go forward twice. Okay, good. And now we would need to go forward how many? One, two, three, four, hmm, a lot more. So something I noticed, though, is they're all one. So that means that's the remove is always just going to be a single block. So that's something that can be repeated. I'm not sure, though, how can we go forward a different number of times until we get to the piles? Oh, well, they're all at edges, right? So wall path ahead. I'm going to just restart. Wall path ahead, move forward. And then once I get to the edge, there's no path ahead, so I'll stop. But then that also means I can flatten a pile. So I can use a remove once there's no path ahead, because I know I'm at an edge and there's a pile there. But once I use one remove, the pile will be gone, and I need to turn left. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Now, yep. Now turn. Oh, okay. I need to do this once, twice, three times. Well, I only have one more block, so how can I make this code repeat three times? But da All Right? And so now all of the code inside of here will run three times. And so on the first time through, it's going to, as long as the, I have a path forward, the computer will say, I'm asking the computer, is there a path? The computer looks, yep, you have a path. True. If it's true, we move forward one. We then ask again, okay, is there a path? The computer looks, true, and we move forward one. Then we ask again, and we're standing here, is there a path? And the computer says, nope, there's no path in front of you. False. And since that's false, we no longer run this. We drop below it. We move one. We turn. We hit the bottom of our loop. We go back and the computer says, okay, second time through and does it all over. Let's test. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going.